Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. <laughs> Just kidding, if they called it that, I would have screamed and fired a Sony-branded RPG at the projection screen. Proof! It's no wonder he became Norman Bates. LMAO, I'm a joker. But these shady Oompa Loompas, though. What? 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 Uh. All because of his nuts. Our beloved hideous rat. Hello, I'm... He gives friction the middle finger. He literally has too much fun with a leaf blower. That tiny little frail heart of his. Oh, the humanity. So scrat, 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 you frighteningly immortal 20,000 year old furry phallic looking rat. How come you refuse to die? This chick is a 100% lunatic. A head case. A nutcracker. He's a delusional and obsessed psychopath. Until next time. <laughs> Scrat! By playing with a vacuum cleaner. <gasps> Scrat, the Ice Age character we all know and hate. Scrat climbs along a little shaky thing, and all I can say is, Damn! Acorn, you're getting freaky with Scrat! You go, gender neutral nut! Then the acorn does another dirty act. <sighs> You, Acorn, I frown upon, and then it does it again. My gosh, the depravity of its soul is undying. Until next time, I'm TT Theo the Riser without Kaiser buns. The timeline I've prior instated crumbles down at the factor of something frivolous and near insignificant. The initial patent date of ice cream cones. The one whose tape she horribly dances to. I mean, just look at that horrifically bad shaky head thing. I just can't even. The tape she inserts whilst she engages in a seizure dance. Coincidence? <laughs> no. Spoilers, super spoilers, spoiling even a season yet to be out. I love wikis and wikis love me. Hello, I'm the theorizer, so that I can correct myself, probably in the form of a pinned comment later on. Anyways, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. <laughs> Minecraft! Until then, y'all, I'm a theorizing dude person. <laughs> Home Alone 4 is an abysmally horrendous pile of sh and I'm going to have a hell of a fun time ripping it limb from limb. Oh, oh, what is, what is this? Oh God, this movie is the worst thing I've ever unwillingly laid my eyes upon. Oh, by the way, this Kevin McAllister mockery is bluntly the most psychopathic child out of films one through five. He giggles and gets a seemingly sexual rush out of hurting the mentally deficient adults around him. The hell? speed it would slap his butt at, which the spiky prongs penetrated his cheeks at. This apparently causes him to hop through the air and land on his back. What? Okay then, stupid movie that I actually sort of enjoy. I'll play your game. I can calculate this. Actually, no I can't! <laughs> Do you know why? Because they don't give us a good enough angle to see how much force he's hitting with. Damn, where can I get some good calculations around here? What the hell is he? A damn balloon? The stovetop burns da bam bam. This is turning more into a CinemaSins video than a serious analysis lol. Yay! On to the next one. Flies a remote control airplane into Marv's, um, tender testicles. At which point he flies down the stairs into Vera where they engage in, um, oh my, that's weird looking. Oh my. This means that it would crush into his, um, testicular stations of baby creation. Some angular physics up in here. Hey! Then Marv's mother shows up with a frying pan to presumably kill Kevin. Please, lady, do that. But Prescott the butler shows up with a massive tray and KOs that nutty old lady. Raphael MFAOOL. I like math too, therefore, I'm definitively nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> Syndrome, a psychotic little child who grew up a genius idiot. How's that for an oxymoron? Damn you, side chicks! What a brilliant plan. Hello! I'm the theorizer! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and just how fast would these things need to be going to lift Mario's chubby little Italian self off the ground? Until next time, I'm the theorizer! Farquaad and far, far away, <gasps> and blew my damn mind so hard that I started shaking like a tased puffer fish. And I highly doubt that Daddy Farquaad is a real thing outside of fan fictions born from a meme lord's sleep paralysis delusion. Flailed around unorganized like a stupid head. Shrek 3, everybody. She's gold, damn it. 
Yikes. PGP be a fatty. Flabbergastingly gobsmacking. Holy sh**. <laughs> so it remains true that the Chain Chomp's chain should be ripped apart. I guess I can roast it again. Because it's a stupid, deficient, pathetic, self-destructively, over-metallic, small, bald, Mardi Gras beads looking ass, horrendously quasi-muscular sh** string of insignificance. King ridiculous. So there you go. <laughs> that was easy. And with that, I'm the theorizer. Rumple's a sneaky little thing. I am so <laughs> sorry, but here's where things utterly spiral into complicatedness. Ah, uh, Shrek. Give me more, baby. I'll squeeze the lore out of this thing until there's nothing left but basic dimensions. Yikes, my hyperactivity should be curbed or I'll probably die. I bet I could calculate that shit. This just got immensely 18 plus, but it's true. It's far more scary than it looks, I can assure you. But I rearranged the hell out of it and expanded it into something that looks horrifying for my horrendous dramatic flair. Chubby man in the cafe. All I need to do now is constrain this ridiculous equation into my mini little swift blue hued Texas Instruments calculating machine of utter greatness that I should endorse like the god of mathematics that it is. <gasps> Gru's icy beam is a horrifically disastrous and bluntly impossible negative 453,000 Kelvin. That breaks every known law of everything, and is approximately the same in Celsius. In Fahrenheit, that's around negative 815,000 degrees. What the shit? Negative Kelvin doesn't even exist. 0 0.026111111111 kilowatt hours. I'll always be a villain. <laughs> um, excuse me, woman, but you were completely unconscious and had no idea you'd been kidnapped, you psychic journalist. Oh my god. Roxanne, you skank. Why? Uh, you doesn't. Uh. Ah. Anyways, I gotta chill out before me being too extra is contagious to them ratchet gangstas. For now. Hopefully a more stable cellular structure than these horrific behemoths of supernaturally terrifying nature. This thing has the transplanted brain of Megamind's brother. Oh, but stupid theorizer, what proof do you have that it's his brother? Well, sarcastic hypothetical viewer who sounds identically to me, in which the fishies click subscribe for more of, um, whatever the hell this is. I am the theorizer. <laughs> what is inside of this fish's brain? Bring it on. I'm curious af. So, I appreciate being called a nutty conspiracy theorist. It is my striving passion in apparent life. I'm the theorizer. Boo! So it should come as no surprise to you all that I have just devised a theory so inexplicably phenomenal that your mind will literally fucking explode. Moriarty had a more personal connection to Sherlock than what we might be led on to believe. No, not that way, ridiculous fanfics. Moriarty even shares a resting bitch face with Victor. Y'all, with a bombshell next level conspiracy. Yeah, that's totally not horrifyingly alarming at all. Thanks for indulging in my illogical logic. Hello, I'm the theorizer and happy pre-Halloween. We're on part 13. I think some pretty drastically epic things sometimes and this is no exception, but a crazy woman. Insanity is genius, Evelyn. As does that apply, possibly, to the eternal child of extroverted feeling that is Winston Dever over here, Mr. Undying Charisma in the face of abject fratricide. Uh, they lie! And Winston is covering it up very casually. Dude, Mr. Minor, like, seriously, your cliché goal is to undermine peace and happiness and steal a bank. Bingo, boy! The Incredibles is such an awesome movie, I just can't even. And so is Incredibles 2, I also just cannot even. And if you think this is deep, get a load of this shit. Dicker, hold the friggin' phone. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll take a pill de chill.